boys. Is it boys too? <laughs> I don't know if the sound works with this phone. <laughs> I don't think it does it now. <laughs> Arnie's a good boy. It's like a walking race. No. Yeah, he walks so fast. He's so choppy. Speedy, speedy. His mane looks nice. Very nice. Thick. Mum's Back behind my favourite set of grey ears. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vloggy vlog. Vlog! Hey, as if on command. I, as you can probably see and tell, am down with the lovely Sam because we're on a, going on an exciting road trip today, aren't and we? I'm taking one of the ponies. Yes, my Guess trailer is currently outside, isn't it? I've come down to your yard a few hours early ahead of our exciting road trip. My trailer is outside and currently empty. It's going back with a pony in it. But it's going back with a pony in it. <gasps> Which pony? Barney. Hi, Barney. Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Could it be, or could it be Scampy? Oh, where is Scampy? <laughs> could it be Mabel? Oh, Mabel wants to go. Oh, yeah, a little clothes, not Mabel. Oh, but if you are looking for the type of a Mabel, the likes of a First Mabel. Pony. A first pony material. How old is Mabel? She is a three-year-old. Three, almost, no, oh, almost okay. four. She's not quite first pony material then. No. I just got a bare back <laughs> the other day and I had collar. Okay, no, but back. she is for sale. What is she, Sam? She's a... Section A. Section A. She's, She's a Welsh beauty. Beauty. She got really, She's got really good show reading. Is she? There we go. A show pony, basically. Welsh A. Six. Mabel. Three-year-old. It's currently for sale. I'll put the link to the advert. In the description box. Yeah. Can you tell me any more about her? Uh, or should we move swiftly on as to who's coming home with me? Talking of ponies for sale. Ed. <sighs> I'm teasing, aren't I? Yeah. Sadly. So I wish I, I wasn't. I'm going to have to lock you in the stable somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish Patrick was coming home from me, oh, with I'm me. I'm a bit worried because she's got a trailer. Yeah, exactly. I could take two. It's empty. And it's, oh it's two ponies, so it is actually Scampy that is planned to come yeah, with us. Yeah, bless her. Because, spill the beans, Sam, spill, spill the beans. Where are we going? Have a lesson with Cameron. Oh. And you're excited. I am. Yeah, he, excited. Sam has been saying to me for weeks, maybe months, that next time I'm I have a lesson, actually. can he please come along? It is actually, I think it's a month tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so we've arranged it spontaneously. Shock horror. Everything is spontaneous. <laughs> like doing spontaneously. Very spontaneously. It was only planned. Yesterday? Anything to do with me is usually spontaneous. Yesterday it was planned. Um, I was going for a lesson anyway, and I said to Sam, you are more than welcome to join me and come along. And I've even, as I said, come down with Elsa to pick up his pony. So you're bringing Scampy along. Scampy is... Have we shown Scampy on my vlog before? I don't think we have. Scampy is heading to the riding club. Championships. National Swal Championships. Swal yeah. Swallow Cliff. In a few weeks' time. Yeah. So you're gonna have a lesson with Cam to work on some of the things that you yeah, need to work on. Bicton. Before all Bicton next weekend so as well. So yeah, you've got a couple poles down. And you're doing the ninety, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, because you find show jumping your weakest phase. So we don't like show jumping. You, like, you do like it. Don't it's you? all right. It's all right. But you prefer dressage and cross country, especially yeah. on scampo. Cross country is the best. You didn't enjoy dressage so much on cracker, did you? That's because cracker <laughs> didn't like dressage. Cracker liked jumping. Cracker was a keen scampi bean, jumping machine. Everything. Right, we've just had a lovely hack on the grey boys, haven't we? Yeah. We've been out on Barney and Patrick, and I will admit, I am very, very tempted to still want to take Patrick home. But... I can't, because Sam's qualified for Royal International Horse Show on him next week as well. No, you can't. You're a busy bee. It's a good job you're on your summer holidays. I know. Um, I did take my phone with me and film a bit of our ride. However, I keep forgetting that this is Barney, not Patrick. He's also heading to Royal International, aren't you? He's the one that was also at Hoy's on one of the vlogs last year. But Patrick, we had a lovely little ride, didn't we? However, unfortunately, yeah. The iPhone 7 camera and speaker wasn't working quite right. I tried to start the vlog whilst riding you, didn't I? And unfortunately it did not happen, did it? No. Oh, I do love him though. I do love him. I was so, 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 so tempted. But I do think I'm a tiny bit big for him. Hey? Where should we put all this? You want to load? That's a nice looking girth, Sam. Have you got a posh new saddle? No. Just a posh new girl. It's second hand. Oh, very nice though. Well, right, let's get it loaded up girl. and then we will introduce you to Scampy. Scampy. Shortly, because she's currently in the field at the moment and you need to get her in and get her ready, don't you? Yes. You can pop your tack in Elsa though. 
Oh, I'll show you the tack. Look, it's got a tack. Look, it's on. Oh, this is the white one, isn't it? Ta-da! Oh, my dresser's girth is still in there. You can tell I haven't used that recently. Sam does not travel light, I am finding out. Oh, that, I got <laughs> You can put water in there. Just put it next to mine. I just opened the tack locker again. And I was like, why are you bringing food and everything, Sam? Got loads of stuff in there. Top spec karma. No, it's, that's not karma, is it? Oh, what is it? It's chaff. It's chaff. <laughs> and I, why is that? Why is that, Sam? Why are you bringing food and rugs and? I wonder. <laughs> He's coming for a sleepover or scampi. Well, you both are. Yeah. Basically, our lesson, as it was planned so spontaneously, isn't actually on until quarter past six. Um, and it obviously, as you all know, I travel quite far for the lessons with Cameron. It's a two-hour drive. So I said to Sam, rather than drive him all the way home after the lesson, because we probably won't be home till about 10 o'clock, and he lives that much further on into Cornwall than me, yeah. being a good boy and getting everything ready to put Scampi in, um, he may as well have a sleepover because he is also off to with coffee. Barney and Scampi to Coleraine tomorrow. So you can just pick me up. Show jumping. Yes. yes. So, well, so quite yeah, he can stay at mine and then the pony is all ready to go. Where's your bog gone? Um, keep that one lifted up. In the morning. Anyway, I will introduce you to Scampi shortly because I'm not really saying much or making much sense, am I? Quick turnaround, the other tie up. Good shout, well done, Sam. All systems go. Scampi has had a nice brush and made friends with Dinks, haven't you, Scampi? You haven't actually told us much about Scampi, Sam, but we'll do that en route because we do need to get on the road. As you can see, she's a lovely roany colour. Banks has had a super speedy bath. And you said he put his head down to let you brush his forelock. Oh, he loves you. He's got his eyes on you. He's watching you. We've literally just had a quick chat to Cam about what we want to do and work on whilst we were driving back from Sam's house. And now we need to get on the road, get up there, and we will explain to the vlog all about it when we're en route. I will pass my camera over to Sam. A little Dinks, I'm afraid you've got to stay here. Bertie, everybody says, is he actually called Dinks or Bertie? Is he called Dinks or Bertie? Dinks. <laughs> right, we're gonna end up being late if I don't crack on, so let's top that hay net up and get the show on the road. Hey, Puss Puss. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Sam was disgusted at the state of my bridle, so said he will kindly clean it on route. and Bank says, hurry up, Mum, I want to go. Oh, is Dinks coming as well? I think we can squeeze Bertie in the back there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Aww. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh. He's like, no, I want to follow you into the trailer. I don't want to go out on my no, own. Go. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Be nice to each other and we'll see you when we get there. Good girl, Scrampy. Is it on? Yeah. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> right, Sam, I'm going to interview the, you then. All okay, right? you ask your questions, I'll, I'll ask them. you the questions. Right, I'll hold because it. I've discovered that I don't think the vloggers met Scampi before because everybody, and I'm not going to make you cry, but everybody will know that your previous pony was Mini Banksy. Well, look at that or that. Look at the lens. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Your previous <laughs> pony was Mini Banksy. Who Mini Banksy. Sadly, you outgrew far too quickly. Yeah, bless her. She was alright, let's try to sort this out so I don't have to hold it. Or I don't have to hold it so much anyway. That'll do. So Cracker did... Well, but you got Scampi before Cracker moved yeah. to a new home. Yeah, I had about a gazillion, million, trillion, million ponies. You did, which is when I came down to ride Patrick. Yeah. So Cracker, we won't we won't talk too no, much, but I'll she's got fine. a lovely home, hasn't she? Yeah, she's a lovely new home. She sold easily because she's incredible. Yeah. And Scampi is now your eventer. Yeah, she's my new eventer. Which is great fun, which is why we're going to practice for Bicton and Swaycliff. And Swaycliff the week after. Yeah. Um, how I'm old joking. is Scampi? Scampi is a seven year old. So she's quite young and inexperienced. Yeah, she had just done like a bit of fun stuff before we'd had her. Yeah. And now she's stuck her And she likes career. doing floaty toes a bit more than Cracker did, didn't she? Yeah. So you've had she's, some epic dressage scores already. She likes you? dressage more than jumping. Cracker went, mate. I don't want to be doing this trot around circles. <laughs> I want to be going Galloping. out of the country as fast as I possibly can. Yeah. She, 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 she would have quite happily been a racehorse. <laughs> She's similar to Banksy. <laughs> <laughs> she was half racehorse though. Aww. Okay, so basically you've had Scampi what? Nearly 12 months now? Yeah, nearly yeah. 12 months. I had a uh, winter. Yeah, winter. Oh, okay. So yeah. 
eight nine months maybe yeah first season eventing first season for her eventing and you eventing her yeah i have only evented um and you've already qualified for the national championships which I know. is pretty incredible <laughs> god no that, that happened uh somehow i don't somehow. really know wow. so yeah exciting year ahead with yes. scampi what's scampi's show name fargaline scampus Fargaline Scampus. Yeah. Let's put a hashtag Fargaline Scampus on the post. Oh, you do? So make yeah. sure that you uh, follow Sam. And follow on the hashtag. His YouTube and follow the hashtag on Instagram, yeah, as well. Plug, to plug. keep up to date with their progress. <laughs> plug, and plug. obviously, we're going to put a little snippet of your lesson with Cameron yeah. in my vlog, but then most of the lesson will be going on your vlog on your channel. Won't yeah. We'll have expertise filming. Yeah. I mean, no rude to mum. His mum does film for me and I'm very grateful she films for me. Yeah. You know, give, give credit where credit's due. Yeah, bless mum. Mum's good. Exciting though. I yes. mean, we've had a little chat with Cameron already about yeah. some of the things you want to work on. Yeah. But he said it might be different by the time you get there. He might decide what he wants you to work right. on. He's looking ready to rock and roll. Scamby's looking swish. She's got some little hay buds on her face. But she's gleaming, Sam. She's looking fab and she very much suits the Woofwear Ocean. You'd like me to take your phone to film some bits on, would you? Yeah. How are you feeling? Excited? I'm very excited. Yeah. You can film my phone or the camera if you want to. I'll do a bit of both, shall I? Yeah. Oh, I like that saddle as well. That's nice. Looks comfy. So Cam's just finding out yeah. what their yeah. what their plans okay. are. Okay. So when you say your weakest phase, what often happens? I don't think I don't think I get a good enough for a rhythm. Mhm. Mm and I hold her back and then let her go. I'm like very like indecisive on the stride and stuff. Okay. Okay. And my hands are not great. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his very folks. honest, Sam. Yeah, he is. Very, very honest. Um, well, what I want you to do, just for the first five minutes, have a little play as if I wasn't here. Yeah. Okay? Just have a little walk, trot, canter around. Show me where you're at without me. And then we'll just see what we've got. Yeah, okay. Good. Work her in as you would normally. She definitely looks bigger than Cracker. I haven't actually seen you. Cracker's only 49, she's 42. Okay. Still not exactly that. Start going around your wheelbarrow would have tipped over because you were going yeah. around inside brain forward, outside brain back. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. You've got to flip it around that way. So then you're going to go up the long side and keep your wheelbarrow pointing in the whole time. So inside brain back, outside brain forward. And then your inside leg is going to keep her down the long side. Good. She's going to want to fall in because you're going to keep your inside brain back. You're going to keep your inside brain back. I think you're pointing your wheelbarrow to the inside. Put your wheelbarrow to the inside. Yeah, well done. <laughs> so you've got to keep your wheelbarrow pointing to the inside the whole time. Yeah, and then your inside leg keeps her on the track. So without getting too boring and technical, you're effectively riding her in a shoulder four position. Okay, but that's all boring terminology. <laughs> really, I just want you to think, put your wheelbarrow to the inside, and then your inside leg says to her, but don't come in off that end. Yeah. So to me, the main thing she was lacking at the start was the fact she was looking to the outside the whole time. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Even if she goes lazy, even if she wants to come in, you say, I'm not going to point my wheelbarrow the other way around. <laughs> want your shoulders to match your hands. Yeah, better. Better. Yeah. Better, feel that? Yeah, you saw a difference instantly yeah. then. Yeah. That's where you need to be. You know, I'm complaining about her looking the wrong way, but really, in theory, you're well, turning I'm in. the wrong way, I'm not helping her. Exactly. You've got to keep yourself positioned to the inside. Yeah. And then your inside leg keeps her forward and suffering down the line. Yeah, better. And it's not going to be an immediate fix. This is the thing you've got to work on out hacking everywhere, thinking yeah. I want to go down the roads in this position. In my wheelbarrow pointing to the right, my shoulders to the right, but my right leg keeping her nice and straight, okay? Yeah. Good. Your, your shoulders aren't matching your hands there. Good. Better. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, that's the numb that. Because <laughs> when they're running, they're pulling, not pushing. So actually, if they start running, I'll say, no, use your bottom. Okay, so actually, if they start pulling me along, I've got to nudge them and say, push me along. Almost the opposite of what you think you want to do. And I've got to keep nudging them until they start pushing and then they'll be going forward but in a lighter way. Okay? okay. So actually if they're running, I've got to say, fine, I'm going to keep riding you forward until you push me around the arena, not pull me around the arena. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes, it tends to be quite behind the leg. 
spot on. That's why she runs, because she wants to pull, not push. Good. So now show me a bigger canter. Bigger. Good. Good, yeah, leg on, leg on, leg on, leg on. Ride with the leg, ride with the leg, ride with the leg. Keep that leg on until she relaxes to it and then you take the leg off. Not yet, not yet. Keep it on, keep the leg on. Good. Good, good, you're not wrong, you're not Never wrong. Never just pick up canter and come. You work the canter. Work it on the circle a few times. Come on, the canter is just done. More canter. Good. Then come whenever you're ready. How many? Seven. Seven, fine. Um, medium canter through the bottom turn. Medium canter. And then come in with a slow body and an open grip. Good. More! Come on, this is weak. Better. That's a good canter. Now slow the body. Have a breather. Slow body. Aha! Better from you. Yeah. A lot better from you. Repeat it for me. Good call. Mm. Nice pony, isn't it, Cam? Really lovely pony. Mm. Slow. Oh, went back to old way there, didn't he? <laughs> he forgot momentarily. <laughs> Have a little walk. Some bits I'm loving, some bits I'm not. Um, right, um, let me take the whip a sec, don't you need it. Okay. You're going to hold the reins like this. Have you ever done that before? Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Yeah. Did you make Taylor do this? I think someone ages In ago. In dressage. Yeah, he did, yeah. You can so, tell somebody vlog watches. <laughs> so, there's, I forgot when I did that. Yeah. We're just going to come. No, you made me do it at Pondersport and I had to jump the whole cross country course, arena exactly. cross country like it. That was it. It scared the life out of me. So just, you're going to have a little Sorry, sorry Sam. Off, ride the hind leg. Slow body. Yes, box on. Slow body. Yes! So much better from you. So much better from you. Good, come again. Slow body. Slow body. Nice. Well done. Yeah, that was nice. Repeat it for me. Once a fluke, twice is nice. Brilliant. Gates in the door. Slow body. Well done. Really slow. 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 Really she can jump. Slow body. 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 Welcome to friends are nearby, don't need another feel. Time is not on my mind, but then it's here. Oh, carry on. Oh, if you're ever jumping off a tight turn, allow them the space to get the extra spice. Gallop. Let her get deep. Gallop. Let her get deep. Good, carry on. Body was a bit quick. Slow body. Running. All the way around, corner to corner. Body slow. Body slow. Yeah, let's quick the body over both of them. All the way around, do the corners again. Welcome to friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all yes! the 
What you're going to take away for now? Uh, power through the turn. Yeah. Don't worry about my hands. Don't worry about the stride so much. Yeah. I'm going to make sure the hind legs work. Yeah. What's the main thing? <laughs> All of that. I think I better get my pony ready. What's the other thing? What's the other thing? Slower Slow fold. fold. Oh, yeah. Yes. Slower fold. fold. Right, that was fab. I don't know how much footage is in my vlog or Sam's vlog because we're both vlogging. But I do know that I need to be tacking my boy up because it's our turn. And I'm wondering if we're going to be doing a similar exercise. I would guess so. Right, let's put all this down and get the boy ready. Oh, and find another camera battery. See? You're going to walk through? Give you the responsibility. So obviously you missed a run this week that was going to prep you for Bicton. Yeah. Um, so with that in mind, what would you specifically like to work on today? Would you like to do the tricky lines that we've got set up? Or, you know, do you want to work on yourself? To be fair, yeah, him? I think because we're going out at 100 now again, I ought to do something that replicates cross country. Spot on, ABCs spot on, whatever, spot, on. So spot on, spot so on. Probably I, make brilliant. more sense and work on his technique in between afterwards. That sounds great. God, can I get you getting mature? <laughs> 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 um, fab, fab. And lovely to have you here. Thanks. Yes. It's nice yes. to come to a different venue. Yes, exactly. Did you, you do it right? We're right by Dartmouth. Yeah, so it's very nice. Right by Dartmouth, nice. Dartmouth, and this is where yes. Cam teach on a Friday. Yes, yes. Lovely Although we are going to get him down to Colrain on yeah. Friday too. We will get him down to Colrain. We will, we will, we will. <laughs> Petition. They're going to drag me home in the trailer, I think. What a brilliant, every time he comes out spooky in training, you just think, win. This is a chance for me to actually practice. Yeah, because you say you only ever see him as butter wouldn't melt. Exactly. So, think of this as a great time yeah. for you listening. to actually get and listen like you have to at a competition. Yeah. Yeah. If he comes out brilliant in training every time, then it's almost frustrating. Yeah, it is. Yes. Why are you crossing the inside hand? Didn't realise I'm Thank you. Good. The inside leg keeps him out, not the inside hand. If you feel him falling in, you do not take the inside hand out. The inside hand is the pillar that he can't go past, so it stays right. Right, work him in in your own time. I'm just going to change a couple of things. He's always like this when he goes to places he hasn't been. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. You keep getting to new places, though. You can follow me around to everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you say you're at the Prags next week? Well, Actually, super trailer. Scamps. Uh, I've got to try work this camera. Do you know how to use it, or do you need help? I, I've, I've it? got it. I've got it recording. I've got the little square in the middle. I'm trying to follow you with. It's pole. It's going to be down. You think he'd never seen a jump before? Be fine. <laughs> Good job. Right, and this one's a plank. Hit banks. You'll be fine. So now shorten him. Shorten him. Shorten him. Allowing with the right rope. Allowing with the right yeah, Dad, lovely transition. No, but when you got it, it was nice, Tina. It was late, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go round, change the rein, do it again. So it's your existing inside rein, your new outside rein that is the softening one. Okay. So you're coming across in right canter, it's the right rein. Yeah, that's the allowing rein in the downwards. So if you're hanging on with that right rein, it will be resistant. I think that's where you're going wrong, is your right rein is gripping. So as you come across, use your thighs to help keep him slow. Stay elastic in your right elbow. Elastic in the right elbow. Elastic in the right elbow. Well done, well done, wasn't bad, wasn't bad. Pick up left hand up. Elastic inside elbow. Good. Tina, when you're elastic, yeah. it could be more secret. He's feeling rather strong today. Yeah, I know, but then also so are you. You're hanging on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. It'd be Good. boring if it was easy. Good. Yeah. If it was easy, it would be called football. Good. Better. Good. 
thank you. Keep some elastic feel in your right elbow, even if he's strong. Hold him off your thigh, keep him round off your calf. Stunning. Good boy. How did that feel? Yeah, much better. Yeah, thank when you. When I thought about pushing him forward into the trot, I was like, Stop I thought you said as I landed. <laughs> Canter lash. Do a circle. Stay elastic in this downward. Your calf keeps him round, your thighs block him from going forward. Elastic in the left elbow, thigh to get the transition, calf to keep him round. It much, was late, but it was more correct, Tina. Much worse, yeah. What? Well, I know what you mean, but. Yeah, do it again. He just felt like he wanted to carry on doing a collected counter forever then. Well, then you needed to prepare it sooner. And this is the point of practicing enough and yeah. knowing your horse, because a horse that perhaps does collect for a while before it trots, yeah. I'll start asking on the corner. Okay. A horse that directly I Yeah, ask, I think I always think on the diagonal. I think, come around the corner, nice bigger canter to show we've got a nice canter. To but be I, honest, when you're trotting an X, you need to be exactly. Yeah. And knowing your horse, if you've got a horse that you just think trot and it trots, <sighs> then you do that, yeah? But if you've got a horse that actually you need to really bounce it up, close it, close it, close it, trot, yeah. then that's what you do. Yeah. yeah. And you make it so progressive that the judge doesn't even know you're closing the horse up. Yeah? Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Good. Can you have his jump? Yeah. Good. Honest. What are you looking at? Oh, what the heck is he doing now? Oh, he'll be fine. He, he, he knows what he's doing. Keep coming. Oh, I didn't change. Yes, you have. Connect. 
action. Oh, good boy. React. Tina. Yeah, sorry. Next week. I don't know. <laughs> they do like to go wild sometimes. They did have a five star there. Um, I okay. The corner. Yeah, I didn't ride any of it confidently. No, 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 no. Stop doing yourself a disservice in places that needn't be. Yeah. Um, the corner. You jumped beautifully. You jumped very big. Yeah. yeah. Was it a big slow jump or a quick jump? Sorry. A big slow jump. Yeah. Which then means on landing. Need to push it, on react. You, you need to say, come on, that, that was, was lovely, mate. Leg. Well, no, but you need to go, that was a lovely jump, mate. But it was a little bit slow. I need you quicker thinking. Yeah. Land, tell them what you want for the next jump. Yeah. Otherwise, we talk about the cumulative effect. Yeah, it carries on throughout yeah, the round. Yeah, you get slower and stickier, slower and stickier, yeah. stops at three benches later. Okay. Yeah, you've got yeah. to land and say, come on, I want you a little bit more forward than that. Thank you, mate. Yeah. I can get me in it now, then. <laughs> Dark right, Tina, focus. I don't want any of this laughing. Or any of this good boy, you know. How dare you have fun, How dare you have fun? It, it's, nice yeah. to, it's nice to watch it all back. Good. Work the canter. Don't stop. Keep coming to the green. Keep coming to the green. Gate in the door. Not happening. But you had a connection, he jumped it nicely. Really? If you hadn't have screamed, I would have thought it was a nice jump. something to work on otherwise. It's quite funny. Hey? It's quite funny that... Yeah, I'm almost pulling them out of it. You're literally Go bracing in. for impact. Why? You get here and you go, oh, it's hard. I'm going to go into fetal position so I don't fall off. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, come again. I'll oh, now I'm scared of victim. Come again. <laughs> now I want you to count out loud for me after the orange. Okay. You'll be fine. Right, come Tina, straight away. Don't Can I jump the corner? Pardon? Can I jump the corner? Yeah. And I want you counting to the corner as well. Yeah. Out loud. You're not trying to meet the jump on one or five, you're just counting to five. Three, four, five. Punch one, your canter. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Done. Counting meant you didn't drop. Yeah. Yeah, you kept some form of connection. Yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Just this line. How nice was the corner though, Tina? Yeah. Yeah. It, it looked like you jumped in lovely. Wait. 
One, two, three, four, five. Better. Good girl. How did that feel? Yeah, better. Yeah. I definitely have more of a connection. Spot on. Between my leg and his mouth. Spot on. But I don't know why I froze the first few times because it wasn't big, big. No. And he jumped the angled version a bit nice. Yes. Tina, I don't think we ever have to know. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Does he jump better for a longer or deeper shot? Deeper. Deeper. So actually, you're better off with something you're a bit nervous about. Yeah. Keeping him really bouncy or lengthening him. Yeah. With, no, which one? Bouncy. Bouncy. Yeah, definitely. So have that in your mind because when you came in the first time, yeah. you almost started expanding. I started if I didn't really let him expand, expand, he'll jump it. Yeah. Come again. Keep it together. Dig deep. Come on. Big pat. Big pat. Good. Straight round again. show jumping being more elastic yeah but then you come to something that actually he needs you more at yeah and you need to change tabs yeah I think actually pick up the rein again yeah does that make sense yeah, yeah. and that's why riding is all about being instinctual yeah yes i can tell you tina you need to be more softer be more elastic yeah. but then you need to react coming in and say because he gave you warning yeah. the first time you came in he went oh mummy that's a lot that's and I want to make sure you want to jump it too. Well, it, no, 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 no. So, so, but in that moment, so we've been being elastic. You need to instinctively think he's nervous. Pick him up. Yeah. Where are you? I've got you. Does that make sense? Give him some security between the leg and the rein. Because yeah. there'll be no point. You always say your legs weren't good enough, but actually, the first time you came, if you'd have just dropped the reins and kicked him, he'd still gone, he'd yeah, still yeah, gone yeah. out the side. Okay, both ends needed to come together. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Give him a breather. Yeah, a good five minute breather. We do this a lot more still. <laughs> no, you're not That's done. Fine. Sure, you don't want to get on. Adam? Sure, you don't want to get on. I was tempted to get on and do it, but actually, I think you're sorting out the problem. Yeah? But there shouldn't have been a problem. No, there should have been. It can't always be perfect. Exactly. And, um, and I'm sort of glad there is, because you and I never encounter problems. <laughs> yeah? Which, it, to me, is almost a worrying thing because we need to have them to then develop. Yeah. No, and also, do you know why having a problem is a brilliant thing? Do you know? Do you know why having a problem is a brilliant thing? In a competition, say you have a run-out, okay? You have a run-out. It happens. What are you going to then do? Retire? Yeah? No, you want to get round, don't you? You don't want to go all the way up to the competition and have 20 times and go, oh, we've run out now, yeah, let's go home. Yeah. No, you want to be able to know, okay, right, I've had a run out. I need to represent to this so I don't have two run outs. Yeah. What do I do to fix it? Yeah, definitely. And then you can go in that moment. Yeah. Oh, what I did the other day. <laughs> I dropped him. So when you're coming around representing, you're not going, oh, God, I've never had a run out before. How do I deal with that? Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. If you've never had this run out today and then you had a silly 20 somewhere, yeah. you'd be going, oh. I'll just get off and walk over. <laughs> yeah, what do I do now? Because I haven't had a run out recently. Yeah. yeah. You need to have these problems to know how to deal with them. So A, try and not have them in the first place. But B, if you have a run out, be able to quickly go to plan B and know why you had the run out, how to ride it better to get them over the second time. Yeah. Is that a fair comment? It is. Yeah. So actually, it's a good thing. It's a brilliant thing. 
Right, come up the line. You'll, you'll have more tricks in your book. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, that's exactly it. More tools in your toolbox. Yeah. Yeah. So that if the problem encountered again, you can, you can deal with it without me. I think I've got one of them somewhere. I can't find it though. Oh, it's in my water tray thing. He looks like he's be he's pulling now. You, you have legs of steel as well. Points for style. No, exactly. Good girl. It's your orange. How did that feel? Nice. Yeah. All the way around to your corner. Okay. All the way around to your corner. Sort the cow. Let you do the trot. Jump now. Sorry? I've got loads of video of that plane jump. I uh, thought you were jumping it, that's fine. Um, so now land, plug your bottom in sooner. Yeah. Yeah. To make the turn smoother. To make the turn smoother. Because yeah. you're being pulled around by him now. Yeah. yeah. He's like, come on, I want to do this. He wants now. to go at Cameron speed. <laughs> it, it clearly needed to happen. Because I think you missed the run. You're feeling anxious about going up to 100. Good, you can wound up. Wind the cogs up. Chop back. Plug in. Lovely. That was really done really smooth. I actually preferred you on the extra side in that combination. Yeah. It looks smoother and safer. Yeah. Good. 
Good, work him in the top now. Don't just let him stop. Good. This has also been a great fitness run. I do. Put on your telephone voice. We're talking about it on the no, way up. We're recording now. I will go into my voice. Um, no, but seriously, Tina, I think that what I built today encouraged the riders to ride a little bit more of the seat of their pants. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly swore more, then. Yeah, no, but be a little bit more instinctual and yeah. reactive. Whereas a lot of the show Sorry. jumping we are doing is very much set up for you, tailored, Tina, listen, yeah. tailored for a smooth round. Whereas today, a little bit more cross country riding. Bit more, bit more of a question. Was, yeah, I was thinking about you had to think on your feet, and actually, you were a bit pretty. So you've got, well, and then you've got show jumping BS. You'll be all prepared, dressed like show jumping country. I've been told by both of you now. Yeah. And it um, doesn't do any harm to have a little meltdown every now and again. No, no, because you've come out of it brilliantly. Only um, because you got on, though. I've yeah, but then on. use me for what I can do. Use, yeah. <laughs> use and abuse you. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Um, but Thank actually, you. for your peace of mind, yeah. it's good that I can just pop on. And show me that and he does still want to do it and yes. there's nothing wrong with him. Exactly. Um, uh, uh, um, you okay? And may I add, what, what bit have you jumped in today? A snaffle. Yeah. Uh, it's quite strong to start with when, yes. you're, when so, you're like legs clamped on him. <laughs> so like, he does still want to do it, otherwise you would be dying in a snuffle. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, Tina, I'm over the moon with that. Yeah, thank you. Over the moon, really, well, please. You're more over the moon than I am, but thanks. Sorry, I'm not going to be raving you on Instagram, be. that is my favourite session yet. No. <laughs> right, we are halfway home, the sun has just set beautifully over there and we've just it's gone very very cold we've just got snacks haven't we because we're probably not going to be home till about half past ten Put stuff in here. and apparently we're going to be watching love island with pizza yeah that'll yeah be. sound good um but yeah i've got over my little wobble a little bit i've been very thoroughly reassured where did Come i put my hoodie us. i've got my camp hoodie too you yeah, just go to boot camp can you hold that a sec of course I can. Thanks. Yeah, Hello. I had a little wobble, didn't I, Sam? But you yeah. and have sorted me out. <laughs> I was a little bit cross at myself. That's what friends are for. I wasn't at all cross at Banksy, but then I never am. He didn't do anything wrong. I was cross at myself, not for not for having the problem, but for my reaction to the problem. Yeah. Rather than me letting it not anger me, but fire me up to do a better job, it made me go and back. It actually made you ride better. Well, only after I've seen Cameron do yeah. it. The thing that annoyed after... me most is that yeah. it made me revert back to old Tina where I actually had a meltdown, cried, and was like, I can't do this. But, but Which I haven't done for ages, and I'm cross at myself for after allowing Cameron, that to happen. After Cameron sat on him, though, you rode like... Yeah, but I needed to see this. it because in my head I'd leave gone... Leave it. Don't leave that there. What is it saying? Hey, we... No, we'll move that. Where Thank you. No idea about that. I'll just... <gasps> do it. <that. laughs> It might be a squish pizza. No, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. I'm tired now, we've got a, we've got a coffee. Yeah, well, snap. Yeah, a very hot dog coffee. Oh, and chocolate fingers. And watermelon, because we've been singing, haven't we? Well, the sugar, hi. Um, it's tight because we both have our air Oh yeah, that's what, right, as well, but we've got too much going on because we've both, Sam's got the same air up bottle with me. And we both have watermelon because we're both and, a sucker for watermelon. And he's got watermelon on it too. <laughs> So I saw water. That's why we've been singing what my sugar high. Yeah, it, it, we're we are anyway, weirdos. As I are, said, but... much more positive. I just yeah. I, I again I wasn't cross that we had an issue and I wasn't cross about anything. I was just yeah, I was cross. I was cross at myself. You weren't happy with it. Because I was cross at myself yeah. for letting my head have a wobble and blubbing and meltdown because I was just like, Tina, you're better than this, you can ride, give yourself a slap and sort it out. Which is how I feel now, but at the time I just wanted to cry and get off because I felt like I was useless and my legs went like jelly. And I just needed to see Cameron do it in order to get my confidence back up, which is silly because I both I know that we're both perfectly capable. But somehow, no I'm gonna thank you. <laughs> somehow, you do need reminding sometimes Look at me being healthy for that it can't always be positive bubbly forward and uh you can have a little wobble, you're allowed a little meltdown. It's but it's about how you come back from it. So I need to go home, watch some of the footage, and we'll do a final debrief in the morning. But for now, we need to get these ponies home and get eaten. And drink coffee. We're hung drink coffee and eat, yeah. Because we've what still about got about 40, mi 40 minutes to home, so. Yeah, and look, it's 10 o'clock, shot car. Uh -huh. The things we do for a lesson. The things we do to spend time with you, Cam. He's been lovely, though. He's phoned, hasn't he? Had a good chat and told me 
What? Well, and what you need to do is giving you some things. Another stupid shot because that nagging me to go bigger. Not necessarily. Yeah, not instantly. Anyway, no, right. No, let's, no. let's get these. This precious it, it, cargo. In a nice way. Precious cargo home. Somebody now. has got Sir Banksy stable for the night. Oh, she sussed out his automatic water. I've been assured she won't pull his rugs off the partition. And she's very, very spoiled because she's got a whole hay feeder full of hay ledge, Silvermore, and a hay net too. Because you're a good girl today, Scampy, weren't you? And Banks is like, Oi, I want to be in my stable. Oh, good boy. Sorry, Banks. Would you like your din dins? We're just waiting for Scampies to soak. Yeah, we will give him a bit more hay ledge as well. So I've shot them just in this field tonight so that Scampy can see them from the stable. I'll get for the behavior. Right, switching off. Time yeah, for us to uh, feed the ponies and uh, get us some dindins because it is ten past eleven, and I feel like we might be a little bit mad, don't you, Reg? You've had your food. You're okay. A little bit. More than a little bit. <laughs> the so things we do. Not many people drive two hours for a lesson. Each way, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's hope it leads to good results, hey? All right, camera battery's about to die, so that's telling me it all. Let's. Give a Banksy this. Morning. Oh, morning, Scampy. Did you do a better Winnie than Banks? She's like, I'm in Banks' stable, I have to do a good Winnie. Morning. Somebody stole your bed. Did somebody steal your bed? Good boy, oh. Can't have been that hungry because you haven't eaten much. I literally shut them just in here for the night so that Scampy could see them. And didn't feel on a lonesome. Hi CC. Good girl. Oh, that's my battery about to die on the camera. I think I said that last night too. Oh, you're a bit messier than Banksy, aren't you? <laughs> can tell you're a girly. Yes, you can. Calm down now. Scampy's gone in his field and he got a bit excited, didn't you? And thought you were a stallion temporarily. Got he very excited. Down. Calm down now and Sam's going to take him for a little moochy hack to stretch his legs. Before his mum gets here, Banks seems keen for that. That was a big nod, wasn't it, Boo Boo? On reflection, after having a quick look at the videos when we did finally get on the sofa last night, I am much more happy with how the lesson went than how I felt on the way home. I felt not at all cross at what had happened, just cross... Do nibble, thank you. Just cross at my reaction to what happened. It was technically only two stop stroke run out whatever you want to call it um and like we said we learned from the mistake it gave cameron the opportunity to then teach me what to do in that scenario i just wish it hadn't affected my confidence and mindset quite so much at the time because i feel over the last few weeks stroke months i would normally have taken that with a pinch of salt a bit like i did at rollstone when he did a silly little spooky stop at that filler and just cracked on and been like right we'll do it properly next time whereas i went oh 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 can't do it had a little meltdown had a little blub don't think sam caught much of the blubbing on camera which is good <laughs> it's like i felt bad carrying on filming but yeah i had a oh can't do it got off said to cam i don't know if he's okay that's not like him to do that he didn't want to jump it and cam was like no you didn't want to jump it and he picked up on the vibes from you so yeah basically i just need to be much more positive much more determined much more we can do this and then shot cora Dinks agrees, then surprise, surprise, we can do it. Um, so it's all about mindset and headspace. I will admit, and we do both know, that yesterday's lesson was a little bit rushed and a bit spontaneous. We didn't plan it very far in advance. I am one of those people who likes to know what I'm doing. Um, so after a bit of a hectic week, I don't know whether I was in the bed. best headspace to try and cram in yesterday's lesson, but actually like cam said you need these things to happen in training so that you know how to work on them going forwards and how to work on them if they were to happen in competition mode yeah. which i do know now that i need to pick up my contact more hold his hand and keep him more together get in for that deep stride don't push for a long stride and then we will be fine and we will get over things i will admit it's not given me the best vibe prior to Bicton, however, I'm going to try and turn this mindset upside down. We're going show jumping tomorrow, hopefully having a good jump. Fingers crossed, it will be positive vibes, get that good canter, the jumps just get in the way of that good canter. And yeah, then roll on Bicton next weekend. 
that's what I'm going to say on that. I need to not talk anything negative, I need to talk all positive. How are you feeling this morning about your lesson, Sam? Let's move on to you. Oh, very good. Very good? Oh, he's because he's taking Banksy Outlook, he's wearing the orange saddle pad and borrowing my orange hat because he wants to put his GoPro on it. Yeah, and I only bought my fixed feet. I've told him where he's going, he can only walk, but he still wants to film. <laughs> oh, you've got a GoPro 9, snazzy, like Emily. Oh, yeah. not even on camera. Anyways, you're pleased with your lesson? Yeah. Definitely go again. Yeah. And over and out, a bit of this ride I would imagine will appear on Sam's vlog. Yeah, I can send a little bit to you if you want. <laughs> you might send a little bit from my end screen. But over and out for now, and we will see you all very, very soon. What do they have to do at the end of the video, Sam? Like, comment, and subscribe. He doesn't sound very enthusiastic this morning, does he? I'm Are you tired. awake? You're the one that decided to come out early. Not that early. Early enough. Did you drink your coffee? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Coffee oh, addict at 13, that is bad, bad, bad. I always have a cup of tea in the morning. Right, like, comment and subscribe if you don't already. Much more enthusiastically said. <laughs> Give Sam a hi and tell me if you got this far into watching. Whoop, whoop. How lovely is Scampy? She's currently out in my kitchen paddock having a leg stretch. And good luck for show jumping today. Yes. Scampy and Barney going BS. And then you, my boy. We'll be going tomorrow and I promise to channel better positive vibes. I will. We will. Although Cam said not to do the British novice, to do the Discovery and the 105. Oh, he scares me. But you need to be challenged in order to improve. So over and out and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye bye. See you in a bit. Now will probably take you about 20 minutes or so maybe. Bye. Just keep on doing what you do. Just keep on doing.